Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kia and today I'll be showing you how to download fonts and put them on your tablet so you can use them in your Cricut Design Space. So today we're going to be downloading our font from Defont.com. Defont has a lot of free fonts. It tells you if you can use their fonts for personal use or commercial use. And you can also donate to the person who created the font. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to find a really quick font. Sorry if y'all hear my kids. I am a stay-at-home mom, and a lot of times whenever I start trying to do crafting videos, my children love to come in and disturb me. Okay, so let's get this done. We're just going to download this brand bowl stencil. So you hit download. It downloads, you open it up. So now we're going to go into Fonto because it is a zipped file. And we're just going to open it in Fonto. And then here we install it. And then you hit install again. And it's been installed successfully. Now remember this name, Brand Ball Stencil. So now we're going to go into our Fonto app. Let me show y'all what that looks like. Right here. And. Oops. Can I turn it? No, it's not letting me turn it. Okay, so now what we do is click anywhere on Fonto. And we're going to go to plain images. And we're just going to pick this white one in the top right. And we'll hit use. Now what we're going to do is. Click in our top right corner, the pencil, and we can say whatever we want to say. So let's just put something simple. We'll just say, hello there. And now what we're going to do is click font, and we're going to go to my font. And the font I recently did is this brand ball stencil. So we click it, and we hit done. Now we need to change the color because I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it's white and it's really small. So we're going to go to style and we're going to change the color to whatever color we want. And we're just going to do this yellow or this yellow. So it'll be a darker yellow. So now we're going to make it bigger. Move it to the middle and we'll hit size and just make it bigger. That's literally it. So we're just going to leave it like that. And then we'll take it. It's the second icon in the top right. And we'll save it as a PNG. Because we do want it to be a transparent background. It displayed an ad because my husband doesn't have the free version of Fonto. I have it on my phone. But since I'm using his tablet, it's under his name. So he doesn't have the free version. So... Now what we can do is go to our gallery and we see that it's right here. So, we can go into Cricut Design Space and we'll do a new project. We will upload and we're going to go to our Select from Photo Library because it's in our photo library. Once we do that, you see your words and you'll click the white because we want the white to disappear so we can see our words. So we hit remove and then click the white. And now we see our text which says hello there. So then we'll click next and you can save this as a cut image or you can save it as a print then cut. We'll hit save and it saved it. So now we just click on it and we insert. So here is what we just created, the font that we just used in Fonto. This is the only way that I know of where we can use our fonts, any font that we download on our tablets because our tablets don't actually, I don't know of a way of our tablets letting us download fonts into the actual system. If y'all know a way, let me know down below in the comments. But as of right now, this is the only way that I know to do it is by using the Fonto app and creating whatever you want in there and put it here. Now, it is in black, which we all know 
when you have a, a SVG, you don't have to have it the color of whatever you're cutting out. You can separate the colors if you want to. If it helps you visualize better what you're doing, you can change that. And that's what I'm about to show you right now. So, to do that, you would go to Edit. When you're in Edit, you would click Cut because you are doing a SVG, which is a cut file. So, I did have it that yellow color. Let's say I want to cut a yellow vinyl. I'll click the closest yellow to it if that's what I choose to do. And there it is. That's how it's going to cut out is yellow. Now from there, you would click make it. Um, this project has images that cannot be sent to the mat to resolve. Select OK. Oh, it's too big. Y'all, I always get confused with how um, the sizing on here because I'm always doing it on my mat. So doing it on a tablet, it just looks so different. So let's change the size down to like, let's say we want a 3 inch decal of something so we'll do that and then we'll hit done and then we'll make it go back big where we can just see it big but it's actually small and then from there you can hit make it and it puts it on the 12 by 12 and you can choose exactly where you want it to go on your mat so you can cut it and then from there you will hit continue and then that's whenever it's asking to do Bluetooth and all that type stuff. But like I said, my machine's not turned on right now. So, yes, that is how you add fonts from offline onto your tablet. You do this whether you have an iPad or whether you have an Android. It's still the same process for using Foncho. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about the videos of my tutorials. And I hope you guys come back and continue watching. Bye. I told you to shut your damn mouth when you said you weren't good enough. Said you weren't.